Jim Rage ain't no microchip. Yeah. <laughs> that's Yeah. That's what I mean. A- every week it's something different. It's something different. Like, I told I told him. I said, just ship me the car without the wing. I hate the wing to begin with. Just ship me the car. I, I didn't want the wing. I wanted the suspension. And also, I, I, I didn't like the wheels, which the 19-inch wheels have grown on me since then. But, yeah. Yeah. A single seventh, a single model year seventh gen would have been a way to close it out. I think. Oh, dude, I don't, I don't. Do you think that that car would have been so expensive? But if they did do a single year with the Camaro, I think that would have been a good year to either use that ZZ six thirty two or bring back the LT five, since that you know they already had the all the licensing. The, all the everything I mean they've pretty much had crate motors sitting on the floor yeah I think just one special not collector's edition but yeah yeah T Browning what's up man thanks for coming in bud says GM is uh, definitely following Dodge on the last call coat yeah 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 I'm so happy you guys see this because it's like I get the feeling, I get the, the, you know, just the vibe off the community, just through YouTube, uh, Instagram, all. The, but it's like, man, all you're doing, I mean, so you spray the entire car with, with a matte clear, uh, you rearrange, so you give it the canards, because all you do is delete the LED daytime fog lights, uh, give it the openings, put in the canards and you give it the lower chin splitter uh oh you do get the placard on the steering wheel i'm trying to think i think that's about it and then you're going to charge people 16 grand look at how much you got for the the one le package on the ss or even the z i mean look it, it, it's insane you got mag ride you got an ELSD. You got the graphite, the 20 inch wheels. People are paying like three grand, four grand for just those wheels. The OE takeoffs, uh, you know, off of eBay. You got the Recaro bucket seats. You got the hood wrap. You got all the satin black paint. I mean, you got a lot for 7,500 bucks. That's a no freaking brainer. When you're ordering that car, that's a no brainer. So you're going to tell me that those few parts cost sixteen thousand dollars like this it's embarrassing like i'm embarrassed for you and i'm embarrassed to be sitting here freaking preaching how awesome this car is and then you're gonna sit here and freaking screw people so hard like that it's it's terrible that's i mean pretty much why i haven't made a video on it because i it just it doesn't deserve the attention really i don't think um Let's see here, Jeff Noob says, I I really they are setting up for Yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna leave you alone. I'm with you, dude. <laughs> Red Rover, Red Rover, send that B out right over. Cause I will take uh well it depends. It depends on what, what it is for the for what they use for a motor, but I honestly believe supercharged V8's the best way to do it. Cause if you go twin turbo or whatever. You know, the turbines sit on the exhaust side and those gas pulses coming out the exhaust, that's what screws with the freaking exhaust tone. But a supercharger doesn't because it's all on the intake side. So it sounds like a naturally aspirated V8, but you're going to get the benefits of boost. So I'm still holding out for the LT5. So... Maybe the GTD will help. What do you guys think of that GTD? I I, I was going to maybe do a, a live stream on it. Uh, $300,000. That's all I'm going to say. Three hundred grand. I don't, I don't know anything about the engine. I don't know anything about the transmission. I don't know anything about the specs yet. But 300 Gs, that's a lot of, that's a lot of clams. 
Rick Marks, I can't get no answers. Can you get a regular ZL1 Camaro without it being a special edition for 2024? Uh, yes. As far as I know, they are accepting orders. ZL1 1LE. I hear there's no more orders that, that that are being picked up, but honestly, do you guys really think that they're gonna pick? Uh, or I'm sorry, pick. Do you do you think that they're really gonna kill the the Camaro in January? I'm I'm holding now. I'm holding now. I'm holding firm that we're gonna go past January, but I wouldn't be surprised what Super Psycho is gonna do. I really wouldn't be surprised. Uh. Jim Rage, isn't it allegedly eight eight K for the paint alone? Could be, dude. It could be. I, I listen. I heard the price, and I'm I'm like this. I'm just I'm done. I'm done. I walked away, I, and I haven't really uh, haven't really clicked on or did any research on it because it's just, dude. It's a shit show. It's it's bad. It's bad. Tracy, did that video? Co yes, yes. I finally got it to work. Uh, I'm not on Facebook. Those of you that know, I'm not on Facebook. But yeah, I know uh, Tracy sent me a video through of his car before he got it from SVE uh, on the dyno. And dude, that thing sounds ridiculous. It's insane. It's nuts. I watched it three, four, ten. ten. I, actually, let's just not talk about it anymore. But yeah, I watched it, but it's good. It's real good. Yeah. Uh, Rick Marks. Yeah, I'm not interested in the ZL1 1LE package. I want the suspension. I want those spool valve uh, shocks. Uh, I, I know it's it's hard and it's it's uh, it's rough. I get it. I know, but I think that they're going to be a lot more durable than the Mag Ride. The Mag Ride's awesome. The Mag Ride's awesome, but I want the thicker sway bars. And I think with the ZL1 1LE, they're adjustable. You get the fatter rubber and you get the OE um, 100 treadwear compound tires. So there are some benefits to the ZL1 1LE package. I hate that wing. Um, but, you know, even if you do get the ZL1 1LE, uh, take the wing off. You're still going to have those three holes or six holes in the deck lid anyways. Same holes that are in the, the regular ZL1. So that was why I ordered the ZL1 1LE. Um, especially now that I have HP tuners, I can go in and retweak everything. And uh, yeah, it's it's going to be it's going to be amazing. Uh, wouldn't you like to know, I was asking Tracy if he sold his car. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. I would, I would, I would shit to have that car. I would love to have that car. Jim Rage, take it easy, buddy. Thank you for coming in, man. I'm sure we'll be doing it again. LT5 motor in the Camaro turned up to 850. There's no reason you can't. There's no reason that you can't. I honestly believe, it. and you're going to see with my LT4, as soon as I stuff the port injection in, and if anybody's wondering why I haven't done it yet, there's a few things I got going on outside of work. Um, I put some money in other places, I know. And also, I got some things going on with my 9, nine to Survive that uh, I've got to put the stuff on, retune everything, and then boom, the very next day, it's got to go to the dyno and... I'm still on the fence as to go full bolt on and just leave everything alone or just drive it the way it is. But I'm kind of thinking to like, dude, if I, if I've got the fuel to back everything up now, like why not just go full bolt on, just do the lower pulley, uh, you know, the one Oh three throttle body, the big gulp and just put everything on all in one go. That's kind of what I'm thinking. That way I'm doing one dyno, uh, one dyno day, but you know, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what, uh, what, uh, what comes of everything. But yeah, I'm very excited for the, for the port injection. I think that's going to be the key to unlock a lot of things. 
did I want to spend five thousand ish five anywhere from I haven't added it up really five to six thousand dollars for the parts? Not really. Thanks, Chevrolet. But uh, it's what it is, and I think it'll uh, it'll unlock a lot of things for us. So yeah, LT five. From what I'm doing my research on, it's pretty much once I put this port on, I'll have an LT5. So it'll be uh it, it it'll be pretty cool. LT5 minus the 2650 uh blower. So yeah. Yeah. Does anybody in here have a uh collector's edition or 24 Camaro on order or thinking about getting a 24 Camaro? Because I guess uh that's that'd be interesting to know. But other than that, yeah. Yeah, the for 7th Gen, they did confirm. Uh, GM Authority did confirm and say that we are going to get a 7th Gen, but um, they don't know yet whether it's going to be electric or not. It's leaning that way, but... Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not very uh, convinced. I'm not very convinced. Because, I mean... If you look at the electric or the EV sales of across the board now they can't be that stupid to sit there and just say we're going to spearhead after this and and you know we're going to build all these cars and just let them sit on the lot i i i don't know um yes yes seventh gen camaro is confirmed uh like i said we're going to go on a hiatus how long that is six months one year two year three year ten year we don't know but they did say that they do have intentions of creating a seventh gen camaro now that being said uh i don't know if anybody if anybody knows just chime in a couple months ago i did a i made a post uh and they had a Tesla on their proven grounds, zipping it around, trying to benchmark it. Um, and <laughs> I hate this, but I can't help but not think that that's what they're benchmarking it for is the Camaro. But, uh, <laughs> 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 just kidding. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, Slam Donkey will. T uh, she's not worried about that GDT or GTD. I'm sorry. I have a hard time saying that one. Uh, she's not worried. I I honestly believe that she is um, worried about EV sales and just trying to be the king of that hill or queen of that hill. I guess. Yeah. Um, but I honestly, I honestly think, uh, yeah, like I said, Camaro's just on hold right now. We haven't even heard any details or any rumors of that new V8. I think that that new V8, that's going to be, that's going to be key. That's going to be a, a turning point for us as to, you know, what they got going on, their intentions, uh, whether it's made for purely truck. I mean, how, if it's cast iron, I mean, obviously, it's going to be a truck motor, right? Uh, if it's aluminum, all aluminum, anything kind of performance-wise, you know, it could be going in Corvette. Corvette gets it. Who's always gotten in the past? Yeah. So, um, it's going. It's just going to take some time. It's going to take some time to see, you know, what happens down the line. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Stupid interest rates, right? Yeah. Price increases. Yeah. I, I mean, this collector's edition, they have just really just um, reached in and just hosed you. 